Um, do you want me to redo any of them? Because those were maybe a little bit bad. Good luck chopping that up. <laughs> I mean, I feel like they're already here with us. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, w I just don't know what they would look like. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone thinks they know what aliens look like, but maybe they're like among us. Intense. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, what would I do? I don't know. I just want to ask them a lot of questions and see what, where they're where they're from. Like, want to know what they feel about our planet. <laughs> I feel like my my journey as a as an artist has been like long because I've always like played instruments and written music, but. Um, when I really fell into this, I made that body work that turned into my first two EPs, and I feel, I feel like I've, I've just changed so much as a person since. The, like, to me, those felt like a journey of like I was finding myself, and I know I'm always like gonna be finding parts of myself, but it felt like it was like a big journey, and those two EPs captured that like journey, and it feels a little more timid, um, but very sincere. And I feel like now I'm at a place where I'm like, I feel like I've like landed in my body in a sense. And uh, I think the new music that I've been making is, um, it feels bolder and bigger and like you can feel that sense of self. And I'm really excited for the world here. And I think it's been cool because as I've per you know performed live, it's, it's also helped me craft like that, that music was made just with the intention of making music. And this new music, I feel like, is, is made with, with the attention of like, oh, I'm gonna perform this live and what does that look like live? So, um, I don't know, I'm just, I feel like this new music feels way more unafraid, if that makes sense. Bigger, better, older. <laughs> <laughs> um, Absolutely. And I'm still probably in that awkward thing. <laughs> no, I, I have had an evolution. Um, I'm naturally blonde, so I used to have long blonde hair, um, which is quite contrary to what you see now. And, no, I mean, I'm just like a long, a long series of awkward phases, so. I'm catching one here. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Advice that I give to my younger self. I feel like I cared way too much what other people thought about me. Not like what I looked like, but like just me. Like I feel like the best advice I'd give myself is stop giving a shit like what other people think because it's so dumb and it's such a waste of time. You know, I don't know a lot about horoscopes. I, I'm interested in it, but I need to do some more research. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm like the quintessential Aries in terms of like my, I'm so, so intense. Like I, I'm a extreme perfectionist and a control freak when, I, when it comes to making things. So I feel like my Aries shines through from what I know of Aries. Um, my mom's an Aries and like two Aries in one household is, is a lot of, fire, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but no, it's, I feel like it's treated me well. I like being in Aries is cool. It's like the Ram, so you're like, look, I feel like my outside is very like quiet and soft-spoken, but my inside's like, <sighs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that way. <laughs> no, it was cool. I mean, I, was, I think I watched it in full like once and it was cool. I mean, I feel like when I wrote that song, I was like imagining that that would happen, just because like it had that vibe to it. So I enjoyed it. This is Morgan Saint, and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch, and this is my quick six. Perfect. There you go. Hold it. Boom. Boom.